this uh, video is inspired by several YouTubers, one of them being Tim Honkin, who many of we know from Secret Life of the Machines and he being a long-term experimenter and builder. Uh, you know, I think he's inspired quite a lot of us. And in, in one of his videos that was put up this year uh, about connections, he mentioned the, the British three pin fused plug. And according to him, the reason why these have got a fuse is because uh, 1947, something like that, there was a huge shortage of copper and uh, effectively the ring main was developed where instead of having from a fuse box to a socket, from a fuse box to a socket, from a fuse box to a socket, basically it went from a fuse box to a socket, to a socket, 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 and back to the fuse box. Well, it meant that each individual socket was not um, was not fused. The whole thing was fused, and uh, that was done to save copper and wire, etc. And so, therefore, the three-pin plug with a fuser in it was developed, and of course, it's become standard in the UK. Yeah. Anyway, prior to that, I've got a whole collection of plugs here and sockets and bits of kit which would be deemed um, Bakelite and vintage and of course for us solely people they're ideal you can use them because we're not running things on ring mains so let's zoom in and have a look at this vintage gear and then um, uh, another thing that Boots Owen put a uh, video up recently about some electrical connectors and that got me thinking I actually use one of those connectors that he he showed here in the workshop on the 50 volt DC line now I know not a lot of people have a 50 volt battery bank but you could have a 12 volt one so it's equally uh, pertinent right let's zoom in Okay, so one of the things Boots showed was this adapter. Obviously to go into a, a light socket. Now we've got a bulb here, an incandescent bulb. I think these are... It's an Edison screw. Let me go and get a different one. I think these lot came from Uncle Harold's workshop when I was tidying it out. There was boxes and boxes of them and um, in respect to him I've still got them. So I've dug out another one and this is a yeah 60 watt 240 volt anyway that's your bayonet fitting so you take you take the bulb out, you put this in, you can have a bulb or you can have a bulb there yeah. and then you can run something else off there. Now unlike the ones that uh, Boots had, this has got two switches. I'm just, just zoom down on the name. Focus. Safeway. Made in England. Okay. So. So that's sort of interesting. And then, of course, I've got a brand new one of these connectors. Somewhere else. Oh, here we go. You see this? yet again a different idea but that's got a I think that was 2 amp connector not earthed
amazing isn't it and then you had the 5 amp plug and then you had the 15 amp plug yeah and of course these are 15 amp adapters stackable <laughs> I think these are made by Clang looks like but you see they're really big pins so for low voltage stuff 12 24 48 these are ideal they um, and there's a socket for one it still has the live and neutral cover and uh, this in backwards and you can see as you put the earth in these open up so you know you can use them in any which way you would think so these things here so you could put a cable in there and attach whatever you want within reason obviously you put something a bit heavy duty then things are going to get mighty warm but in the days when uh, these were developed things didn't draw a lot of current yeah, yeah all sorts of little interesting bits and pieces and it was at the start of that sort of technology but I'm just going to get something that will actually no I'll switch it on and show you and then come back to you but of course this was the era yet again of the Bakelite switch and I did do a video about these and making the patrices that's what that wooden blocks called a patrice interesting stuff I like these there's two there are two kinds there is the AC kind where you just have a pair of contacts and a cam and it does that and then you have the switch suitable for DC which is a quick throw so you have a little contact frame and, a, and an over center sw uh, spring and of course as you operate it it goes tink like that really quick to break the arc of the DC right let's just go and switch this item on and then I'll show you what I'm talking about you can probably only just see a glare but it seems to be quite big glare okay so I'm just going to uh, unplug that and bring it down to the bench okay you might be chuckling now right you might find this quite amusing but it's sort of the edge of uh, investigation we have had in the past and I think I've got still got some upstairs incandescent bulbs like this but you can get them at 25 volts 50 volts 110 volts and no doubt in other countries you can get them other voltages okay but obviously at some point I was experimenting and I wanted a DC light and I didn't have any 50 volt bulbs so therefore we've got one of these connectors and five 12 volt bulbs in series there you go so you know if you were 24 volts you could have just those two and that wire would just go to there so just series them up and of course you know, when you've got a big battery system then it is useful just occasionally to have a uh, DC light source so therefore you're not 100% reliant on your inverter so for instance in the battery shed I have two incandescent lights uh, um, 50 volt ones so therefore you know, whatever happens you can go in the battery shed and you've got lights and the same here this is 
I mean, this is less left over from donkeys years ago, yeah, but it's still working. I'm still using it. Yeah, and okay, five twelves is sixty. So therefore, each bulb is not having its full twelve volts. So they're going to last forever. So hopefully that's got you thinking. Yeah, you can use this old stuff not on mains but for other purposes very useful anyway if you have more interest in solar and uh, wind and off-grid then of course the book is also a must and if you go to my name below this video above the comment section click on that that will take you to the channel page then go along the buttons and under about you'll see the link to this book and that is the publisher's website and that, and with that hope you enjoyed this and catch up with you soon because like you I'm not sure what the next video is going to be about bye for now